Just a few weeks ago, uh, we saw the fencing around the U.S. Capitol come down. Of course, it had been in place since the insurrection back in January, and now Congress may have to discuss putting that extra layer of protection back up again. Removing that fence was a relief for people living around the U.S. Capitol, but do they still have those same feelings right now? Matthew Torres is live near the Capitol with more from reaction from neighbors. Matthew. Well, Larry, first off, they were completely shocked when learning about what happened to the officer. One resident describing it as unbelievable, knowing this type of incident would happen here at the Capitol just months after the January 6th insurrection. And like you said, this comes at a time when the public spaces around the Capitol have slowly started opening back up. There's been demands to completely take down the fencing. But after what happened today, neighbors fear that may not be the case. They understand the need for increased security around the Capitol. But as one ANC commissioner in the Capitol Hill neighborhood tells me people would be disappointed if we start seeing the green spaces closing down again. There wasn't much neighbors and visitors could do this afternoon. Law enforcement quickly shutting down entry points to the Capitol grounds. People who drove here hundreds of miles away were disappointed. Security turned them away until learning about what happened to the officer. They say since January 6 to witness another security lockdown like this is disturbing and uneasy. It's kind of disconcerting considering what happened in January 6, and I, I, I didn't even think anything like this would happen coming down here. It's sad, very sad, uh, and it's very hard to be here in the Capitol with all this going on, period. It makes me feel like, you know, it's not really safe anymore, considering I brought children, you know, to bring children to a wonderful place like this. And we are here at 3rd and Constitution where we watch that procession coming down here with the officers lining the streets here at this angle. From our perspective, it seems things are calmer, at least on this side. We have people out and about again, and I wouldn't be surprised if there were people here who did not realize what happened as earlier this afternoon. We broke the news to them. Back to you. It's an unfortunate a new reality that people living near the Capitol are having to deal with these attacks on the Capitol, which is a representation of our government. Certainly everyone wants this to be resolved peacefully, uh, but most importantly, people that live nearby will be having to deal with this for days and weeks. Ultimately, we want the people to be safe, uh, but there is an issue of whether or not additional fencing makes sense, given everything that we've seen over the past few days and weeks. Matthew Torres, thank you so much. We appreciate it.